Hi everyone and welcome back to Taste the Code. Today on the healing bench we have this controller that comes from a, from a pull pump and as you can see it's been severely damaged. There is some burning that happened and today we'll try to inspect to see uh, the extent of the damage and if it's salvageable or not. Uh, this belongs to a friend of mine that opened up the, and it comes from, as I said before, it comes from a pump, from a pool pump that's actually circulating the, the water and passing it through a sand filter. And on this you have the ability to set the time that you want the pump to run from 2 to 4 all the way up to 24 hours. And then when you start it, this microcontroller then controls the relay and the motor is connected on these two lines and it then runs for the specific amount of time and it then stops. Um, currently he has the motor running directly off the mains without the controller but it would be nice if we would be able to fix it and we tried searching online for a replacement and we were unable to find just the controller so we'll see that's the reason why I'm looking at it and we'll try to understand what happened and why it failed. So straight off the bat, um, at first it was looking like some of the tracks were actually burning, but uh, now that I'm looking at it in more details, it seems like the majority of the burning happened below the uh, capacitor here. And it seems like there is some sort of a track that's right underneath. So I suspect that maybe some sort of a bug might go in and then short it between this diode and that resistor over there. But it also might be that you can see that the capacitor here is bulging, so it might have leaked and that electrolyte from within then shorted stuff on the board. Uh, additionally, I see some rusting here uh, on some of the leg. That might be from the electrolyte of the uh, capacitor, but it also might be some water that leaked through the case of the, uh, of the controller. Before I go any further, uh, Let's clean this up and uh, and see and have a better look af afterwards. And in order to clean this up, I'll use some napkins and some isopropyl alcohol that I'll just soak the board in and I'll rub it off with a toothbrush. Okay, so one of the LEDs fell off, so where we had the most of corrosion but that's not a problem we can easily replace it And here's the board after some cleaning that I've done. And I also went in and removed the capacitor that was uh, mounted there. And as you can see, it was badly damaged. And I believe that might be the reason why this whole area got damaged as well. So it seems like there, is, there was a track that was going from here, from the positive output of the bridge rectifier to this um, I guess it's a capacitor we can't really tell although it might be that but I believe it's a capacitor that's before this voltage regulator that then outputs 5 volts to be used with the microcontroller and also for the LEDs and this also went up to this diode which i'm not really sure what uh, exactly is 
it's connected between the negative and the positive so it might be a Zenardad that was clamping the voltage to 24 volts for the relay and then from those 24 volts this uh, was uh, reduced down to 5 for the microcontroller there is a lot of corrosion that happens on the board as a result of the uh, leakage of that electrolyte so I'm not sure how big the damage is even if we replace that track that capacitor and also this one I'm not sure what's the state of the uh, bridge rectifier but we can check that and we can solder that to that lag uh, that's still remaining or we can even replace that um, but I'm afraid that the electrolyte might have damaged some of the connections and it will be really difficult to to work. Uh, the way that this operates is AC comes in through this resistor, it goes through this uh, capacitor that reduces the, the voltage and it goes to the bridge rectifier that then outputs around 24 volts and that 24 volts is connected through this 5 volt regulator 78L05 and it powers the microcontroller unfortunately there are no markings on the microcontroller they've been scraped off which is typical in this sort of stuff uh, but then the microcontroller controls each of these LEDs through these lines so they have a common positive and they're connected to ground and that's how it displays the amount of time that it uh, needs to stay on and then uh, through this circuitry here which i believe it might be a mosfet here uh, i don't i'm not able to see any markings there are some but okay let's see L6 it might be a transistor or a MOSFET that then turns on the, the coil and that turns uh, on the the output of the board um, next up I have this idea I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not I'll try to provide 5 volts after this regulator to see if the rest of the circuitry powers on and to assess if the microcontroller is alive or not and if it is then it might be worth like rebuilding the circuitry here so we get power back through, through it all the next day okay so it is now the next day and i've been poking around this circuit board for a while now trying to identify what's wrong with it and i've determined that it's actual the microcontroller is burned through probably it uh, managed to jump over some of the voltage that was leaking here through the electrolyte of the capacitor then brought some higher voltage than this was ever supposed to get i first tried connecting some voltage uh, after this regulator and then trying to follow it and see where it goes uh, because i wasn't able to see all the tracks be because of this battery holder here but I've determined that um, the microcontroller is powered through this pin here, which is ground, and this pin here, which is uh, VCC. And the uh, based on the oscillator uh, that is attached here, this is probably a PIC uh, microcontroller. I'll add my guess here. That might be completely wrong, but it looks like so and if we measure between VCC and ground on the microcontroller it's a dead short so that means that uh, there was high enough voltage that went through the microcontroller and uh, that basically destroyed it so if I this is on continuity you can check that that's a dead short on the microcontroller and that basically means that this is officially dead and we can probably salvage some of the parts here and most notably the relay for some other project everything else and maybe this power resistor at the end i'm not sure about this 
capacitor if will be usable or not or not it seems to be uh, based on the multimeter it seems to be acting fine but again uh, seeing the amount of damage that happened through here it might not be wise to use it knowing that this is a PIC uh, microcontroller we can probably buy a replacement and uh, program it and replace it and rebuild the, the whole thing but uh, it's really not worth the effort I've already talked with my friend and uh, the idea is that he will replace this controller with one of those uh, programmable timer circuits that you can buy and um, hook uh, the the motor directly to it uh, because now he just completely bypassed this uh, this board and it's running the the pump directly from from the mains and using that timer he can program it to to run for a specific period of time uh, as he wants and that's about it for today i hope that you managed to learn something uh, following my adventure to uh, see what went wrong with this uh, pump controller if you found that to be interesting then subscribe and also check some of my other videos and i'll see you all in the next one cheers